gentlemen, this is Prangan98, bringing you another LEGO review. And since I saw you like my Metroplex review, I thought today I'm gonna show you something awesome, but also a bit different. Today I'm gonna show you a Bionicle Transformer. As you can see, this Bionicle Transformer is pretty big. And I have it at the most... I have it pressed against the wall. I might be able to just slide the camera back just a bit, but there it is. Here's the Bionicle Transformer. He is big. He's one of the biggest. I think he's even the same size as my Optimus Prime. So as you can see, I have a very small table, so I cannot transform it properly. Hold up, let me try something else. I'll be right back. That's a bit better. So right now, I'm sitting on my floor. I have it sitting on my floor. So yeah. Sorry about the uh, quality of my filming right now. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera, but it's night time. So the only thing, the only light source I have is my ceiling light. So yeah, sorry about that. So here we have my Lego. Sorry about that. But here we have my Lego Bionicle Transformer. And as you can see, it's a beautiful gold-headed, two-headed dragon with some gold accents. And that's exactly the reason why I gave him the name Gold Keep. Because as you might have known, dragons are mostly uh, depicted as Creatures who defend massive fortunes and treasures. Mostly in an abandoned cave. Just to protect the um, treasure he hidden from the hero. So yeah, um, that's the reason why I call him Goldkeep. He is a black and green um, with some gold accents dragon. Has some beautiful horns, some spikes. And he's of course a Decepticon. Of course, I made him a sticker which is on his belly in here. So yeah, I think it's time to get to transformation because this guy will blow your mind. Because right now it looks like a perfect dragon to me. You get these wings. Uh, they can spread by the way. They move up. So he has kind of a lot of possibilities in the wings. His head is like... On a m two ball joints, hold up the chest, just popped off. Just gotta fix that. There we go. So yeah, I got the tail on this flexible Lego tube thing from I believe it was a Ninjago set. His wings are from a Ninjago set too, probably with that mech thing. Uh, of course, the claw feet and the head and everything. Um, are on uh, from the Bionicle set. Again, these little swords are from the Bionicle set too, such as the... Mostly all of the golden detail in this guy is from the Ninjago set. Rest of it are just some parts and some other stuff are like Lego Technics and also some... Uh, I believe it was, yeah, uh, Bionicle, mostly Bionicle. The base form is like Bionicle, just Lego Bionicles. So, without further ado, let's get to transformation. So to start this transformation, what you will do is you will simply... It transforms a bit like um, Grimlock. You know, becoming the rear legs, becoming the arms. You know, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna take these claws, rotate them around, straighten it out yet. But unlike Grimlock, his claws become his hands. So yeah. We're gonna bring that down, as you can see. So yeah, what we're gonna do next, we're gonna come to these legs and bring, and uh, we're gonna rotate them around like so. We're gonna rotate this around like so. I'm gonna press that up against there, forming a beautiful leg. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Rotate it around like so. Rotate this around, get the claw out of the way, by the way, and by the way, you want to, like, bring these horns forward a bit more, position the legs the way you like, 
There we go. There's the legs and the arms. It, it kind of looks like Megatron, in my opinion. So yeah, you get the arms and the legs all done. Next up, work on the wings. What you're going to do first is you're going to rotate this. Take this front, this, okay. We're going to take this wing bit and swing it all the way around like that. Right? Do the same thing for the other side. Swing it around. So it's like in this order. Right? You're going to bring that down, like, so, or bring that towards the camera. And we're going to bring these two. This points up. This points down. I'm sorry about my camera skills right now because I'm sitting on the floor holding a transformer with a camera in front of my face. So, it's, so I'm going to lie down so I can see how it's going to look on screen. So there we got the wings on his back. It forms like a cape. Or like a drape or something like that, something similar. No, just like that ugly pink thing Starscream wore in the movie. So there, we got the wings done. Uh, you can position them a bit more if you like. Um, I'm gonna position the legs, by the way, a bit more towards the back. God damn it, this sucks. Okay, there we got the body done, mostly of it, anyway. Then, we're gonna move on to these panels behind his head, spread them a bit. I'm gonna take the head, rotate it around, take these sword spikes, and like, point them up. Like that. There we go. I'm gonna do those goddamn wings. Bring them up just a bit. God damn it, this thing sucks. Sucks. Because I have no proper way to display or, or mean to hold my camera. But then we're gonna take this tail thing, rotate it a bit, bring it on a peg, which is right there. I'm gonna take that flexible piece and we're gonna stick it in there. Not all the way, but just so it just holds it. I'm gonna situate everything. And there, god damn it. And there we have our Bionicle Transformer. And in my opinion, this guy looks great. He's like a big beefy robot, you know? It has the aesthetic of a bay former, but he's like bad badass because he has like gold. He's like a rich boy, and he lets it he, and he lets everyone know that he's not to be messed with. No one can take his gold, otherwise you would die. You would die in the hands of this rich boy. So yeah, don't mess with him. Don't mess with this guy. He's ugly, and he's mean, and he's coming for you. Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna come for you. So this was Prime Guy 98. Bring you another Lego Transformer. And I will see you next time. Bye.